The Beanie Bubble stars Zach Galifianakis, Elizabeth Banks, Sarah Snook, and Geraldine Viswanathan. A behind-the-scenes look at one of the biggest speculative crazes that blazed through American culture in the 90s. The Beanie Bubble in select theaters on July 21st, streaming exclusively on Apple TV Plus July 28th. Rated R. I'm going to say something scandalous, Ronnie. Go on. Plants are meat. And not only are they meat, they're delicious. Especially if they're from Impossible Foods. They taste like beef. Exactly. Impossible is making meat history this summer. Yeah, they are. Summer of Impossible. I am so excited to be spending time cooking my summer foods, all that good stuff. And guess what? We can use Impossible sausages, Impossible brats. I mean, it's going to be a great summer for Impossible Foods. Impossible beef is made from plants and 19 grams of protein per serving. And it's better for the planet. And it's meat. Plant meat. Correct. So if you're looking for something to grab for your grill, grab some Impossible beef. Summer of impossible start making meat history today just head over to the meat aisle at your local grocery store grab some impossible beef or patties and get grilling introducing the new audible original breakthrough the genre redefining audio only series that strips away the superficial to reaffirm what matters most pure talent featuring celebrity judges kelly roland sarah Bareilles, and host david diggs hear every step of the musical journey as five undiscovered musicians battle through a series of high stakes singing and songwriting challenges for one top spot As musically gifted as they are artistically unique, each finalist is driven by the same dream, to become music's next must-listen. But to break through, they'll have to dig deep, pushing their vocal, songwriting, and recording chops to their absolute limits while keeping their feet and emotions firmly grounded. So, who will break through? It's time to find out. Join Kelly, Sarah, and David on a musical journey unlike anything you've ever seen. This is Breakthrough. Listen on Audible or wherever you get your podcasts. Go to audible.com slash breakthrough. Follow along using hashtag breakthrough X audible. Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to Watch What Crappens, the podcast for all that crap we love to talk about on Yo Bruvs. I'm Ronnie. Hi. I'm with Ben. Hi, Ben. Hi. How's it going? Good. How are you, sweet man, little munchkin man? Oh, you know, I'm just, I just, I'm, I'm divine. I'm divine. Yeah. What's going on with you? Divine Mr. Yeah. M. Um, I'm divine excited Mr. because we are here today to recap the second episode of Welcome to Crappy Lake, which you know we love. We take it very personally that it, the show is even called this. Um, we love you, show. We love everyone involved in this show. Thank you for being here. And um, thank you guys for being here. If you want to watch this video, it is on Crappens On Demand on our Patreon. Just go to Patreon, search Watch What Crappens. Uh, it's it's available a week after we release it here over on YouTube. Okay, for free, for everybody. We also do yeah. bonuses every week. Last week, we did a really fun one that was an Amazon shopping extravaganza. And this time, we did video with it. So you could see what we were shopping for and looking for. Um, and we will update you guys on the stuff we got this week and how we like it and all of that good mm-hmm. stuff. And I think yeah. that's it for openers for me. You have anything you want to mention? Nothing except to say that that was like such a fun bonus episode. And it was really cool to be able to like put the browsers up on screen for people to watch what we were browsing for while we did it. So definitely technology, people should check that out. technology guys. Gosh. Gosh. So the reaction to this show has been really good people are loving the show which i'm super happy about because we love it as well um also i love that uh just the timing of the episodes i mentioned it on my threads (laughs) which is like instagram's twitter or whatever i thought it was so cute that this ep uh, the next episode has like a lemonade stand they show the clip for the next one is a lemonade stand and this week was the premiere of real housewives of new york the new ones which they're turning lemons into lemonades with this show guys i just loved it i thought it was so cute but you know what is the fun you know what bravo is they are such fuckers they are so mean i think it is so funny that they have luann and sonia 
on like Roni premiere day, they are like doing interstitials where it's like, hey, it's like Sonia and Luann. Tonight, be sure to watch Real Housewives of Atlanta, followed by the new Real Housewives of New York. And then us OGs, I'm like, you're going to have them promote the show they got fired from. Like, it's just so <laughs> cruel. You know, they hated that. They hated it. Bravo. They are they are so they are hilarious. But they also the gave them their operates. own show. So what would you they rather did. have? Would you rather have because you know Sonya and Luann are both delusional. So they think this show is gonna go on for twenty years, you know? And yeah. would you rather have a show that you have to share with Dorinda and Ramona and all these crazies, or would you rather a duo show? You know? Yeah. I think they want it all. I think they want to be on, they want to have the spin off and they want to be on Roni still. Oh, yeah, but true. I have to say, by the way, so full confession. Last week, we did Crappy Lake, episode one. Um, and then I was like, I'm going to watch episode two. And I, ha- I just I didn't get around to it until we decided to recap it for this week. And um, I thought I liked episode one. It was better than I thought it would be. But it, I think I said on the show, it's better than I thought it would be. But it wasn't as good as I thought as people were saying. But I thought episode two was hilarious. So I think that like what was nice about episode two was they could just sort of be more of the show. And episode one was still sort of piloty. There's a lot of people in the town talking, and like it didn't really have necessarily the same flow. But this this episode, I was cracking up. So I am now 100 percent in on Crappy Lake because it really is so funny that they just show up and they're so themselves. You know what I they mean? They are like they can't help it. They can't be anybody else. And they're trying like they're wearing glitter everywhere and sequins everywhere. I mean, they're just ridiculous. Like someone told them you should do that, but. It also seems like it would be a totally natural choice for them to be like, let's go to the fire department in sequence. Like you, I feel like you can see the areas that are contrived that the producers, you know, I, I feel like the producers told them like where sequence to like the local thing. Like, I feel like there are contrived moments, yeah. but there's also a lot of moments where despite the contrivances, their true nature comes out despite that. And that's, that's where the show is really at its best. Yeah, I mean, this one is just too horny ladies just going yeah. to town you know so this opens at the benton motel and akash patel comes into sonia's room and he's great casting this guy that he just completely mocks him and thinks are hilarious i think he's yeah. just drunk all day you know yeah and this guy who r- runs this like shitty ass motel walks in and is like what have you done to this room what have you done to my place you're making it, you're ruining this place as if it's the plaza hotel it's literally the most expensive things that have ever been in this room. Okay. It's the most expensive <laughs> decorative items that have ever been here. Even though they're Sonya's granny panties, you know? So yes. she's crawling over junk, literally disgusting. This room is terrible. And she's like, um, don't worry. Everything's organized, even though it doesn't necessarily look like it. And he goes, yeah, it does look like it. She's like, well, I have a list for you, by the way. I need trash cans, organizing pins. And he's like, uh, love the dildo over there on the bed. That's nice. <laughs> she goes, oh, Jesus, that's not for you. He goes, I love it, though. She goes, well, you know, it's in its charging station right now. Yeah, it's a charging station. I kind of use it on my shoulders and, you know, downtown, of course. And I do have something that's just for the shoulders, but it was too heavy. So, you know, I just have the dildo. This is multi-use now. And he's like, so you have a charging station for dildos. She goes, Yeah. <laughs> That's how you charge them. Okay. Oh, don't forget. You came to get the garbage. Don't forget. Her whole room (laughs) is full of trash. And she doesn't even have a trash bag. She just hands him like a styrofoam container that she's done with. She's like, take this and go. Now the room's clean. (laughs) So she rolls her eyes like he's the fucking disaster in that room. Exactly. So now she goes over to Luann's room, and Luann's like, are you ready? And she's all in sequins. Luann has just been dying to get in the sequin dress. And she's like, well, I'm very excited because we're going to go meet the director at the Civic Center. And it's our first mission for the mayor, so I want to do a good job, whoever the hell he is. Now we have to look the part, and I think that we look great. I'm just hoping he's gay. Well, of course, I'm guessing he's a theater director. I mean, what else would he be? Do they even make those in straight? He's like, (laughs) good, fabulous. You know, we live for our fabulous queens. So they're all so excited. They're like, finally, after grabbing a catfish by the mouth and hauling it out of the water, we can finally be with some gays at last. (laughs) So they they climb into the car. They go to the car. And Sonia just starts walking across the parking lot. And Luann's like, "Uh, son, son, are you driving? I mean, the car's right here, Sonia. She's oh. 
no, not that again. Ugh, this is terrible. This is not this is not aesthetically me at all. I mean, I don't mind the no AC. It's just not appealing, and we're not getting paid for this logo or anything else. Sonia has like I, I was surprised that Sonia was the one who didn't want to get in the car, that Luann was totally game for it. Well, she's mad that she's not getting paid for the logo because, of course, it's total Sonia. She doesn't have AC. She's totally used to not having AC. She doesn't have, she barely has running water. Okay. So she's like, I just don't like we're not getting paid for the logo. So then, welcome to Crappy Lake. So they're driving around, and Luann's like, What are you doing, Sonia? And you're supposed to be co pilot, Son- Sonia Rita. And Sonia's got her big, <laughs> thick gray gardens glasses on, and she's just going through something. <laughs> And she's like, Luann's like, all right, we're just like Thumb and Louise. We're going to go down together. Just tell me if there's a cliff, okay? Can you help me out here if there's a cliff and or a terrible small town we have to drive through? Oh, shit. Too late on that front. I've already used my my uh, Lucy and Ethel in episode one. So here's <laughs> Laverne and Shirley. Just wait for Laverne and Shirley in the next. Wait, what did I say? I used Lucy and Ethel in one. This was my Thelma and Louise. Lemonade stand We'll do you, Laverne and Shirley. Okay, got it. <laughs> Is there a chocolate so factory in the dump of a town? Oh, do it at the lemon, <laughs> lemon thing. So they arrive at the Benton Civic Center, and the temperature is 93 degrees with 90% humidity. <laughs> and they walk into this into this center, and uh, they find the, they're like trying to find this theater director. And they're like, well, there's the Office of Administration. Why don't we go in there? And there's like a rascal scooter in there. So Luann's like, ah, look at this. It's a poor person's car. They parked it right here in the office. This Benton Civic Center. Guys, just you need to brand yourself, okay? You can't be... First of all, it looks like it's in an old Dairy Queen, okay? And then they just had a sign made, <laughs> and it says banquets, business meetings, concerts, weddings, receptions, theatrical... Civic Center. Got it, okay? <laughs> just put places <laughs> place with chairs, okay? You don't need to give us advice of things to do. You need to name it after, like, if it were me, I would just be like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to name it after a celebrity as if a celebrity donated. Yeah. Even if they didn't. It'd be like the Anne Bancroft Center for the Performing Arts. Call you it know? the George Harrison. That's your thing. The George it? Harrison. Oh, yeah. And we learned why George Harrison's a big deal there because his sister lived there or something. So jo- George Harrison would come visit. Yes. And that was like the big thing there. So a lot of people been fucked by George Harrison. <laughs> In this yeah. town. So. So back at the Gina Gershon Theater of Arts and Potential, um, <laughs> Luann is like, so, poor, piece of, poor person vehicle, what is this? And so he's like, oh, I love this. You know, I'm gonna, I might need one eventually. So she hops onto it. And uh, – <laughs> She's like, how's this thing go? And she like hits like the gas pedal and she there's a there's like a flat screen TV on a stand and she just crash <laughs> she just crashes into that it. That thing goes and faster I did, than a Vespa. <laughs> it was and Luann like saves the TV and Luann is cracking up. Luann can't believe this. And then Sonya like backs up into a wall. Oops, sorry about that. And she's just <laughs> listening to Luann crack up because she's so legitimately <laughs> cracking up with that voice. It's like <laughs> It sounds like a ghost, like trying to leave Earth or being sucked out of the Earth. You know, like <laughs> remember, remember the movie. It's like a remember ghost the movie? fax. It's like a ghost fax machine or a ghost when AOL a portal just opened started, up. You know, ghost modem. Our ghost is on dial up, and the dial up modem is another ghost. But um, uh, remember in Twister when they're yes, running from the Twister? Everything. I remember yes. every single part, <laughs> I <knew>. of course. <laughs> <laughs> of course. When Helen Hunt and Bill Paxton, by the way, great casting. R.I.P. Bill Paxton. But who thought, like, let's do a movie. Okay, here's what we want. It's going to be a thriller about a tornado. And it's going to chase Helen Hunt. Go. <laughs> 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 There'll be a flying cow and Philip Seymour Hoffman will be there. Double R.I.P. <laughs> <laughs> so they they're running from the the twister and they go into a barn and like everything in the barn is like a saw that's hanging it's like everything sharp in the world is in this in this barn yeah i feel like that's what the scene was like for sonia and a scooter they're like okay let's put sonia on a scooter and let's put everything that could break right near like there's a ladder like let's put a case of like glass urns or something <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, so she, stack of cards. Bill, the director, comes in. And he's like, "Hey, be careful on that thing. It goes pretty fast, girls." And Sonia just swings her badge out. You know, of course, because she's like in a miniskirt, <laughs> swings her leg over, and she's like, "Oh, 
Sorry, but Luann has a need for speed. You might have heard that. Do your line, Lou. Do it. She's like, <laughs> I'm going to kill you all. <laughs> Son of her classics. I, I want to clarify that they they rode the scooter throughout the Civic Center into the theater and down the aisle <laughs> amongst the seats <laughs> to go on stage. I'm after gonna after kill you all. It's like, you're going to kill me all. Oh, my God. They know my arrest tape. They know my arrest tape. Oh, so Bill, hello, you're Bill? Okay, and um, do you know where the gay theater director is? Because I see a man in a Hawaiian shirt and Crocs, and I'm a little concerned. Um, I'm only assuming that, and I'm sorry to assume, because I know that assuming makes an ass out of you, and you don't like ass, do you? Is what I'm asking you. <laughs> you're not a homosexual. So this theater can't run on straight people, Bill, Okay. <laughs> Well, I'll just have to be the gay representation here anyway. Well, you know, the mayor has asked us to help out in town theater, and coming from a cabaret background, it's not that hard. And we see a flashback <laughs> of Luann in rehearsal going, a pop, 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 that's it. Okay, rap. <laughs> the way that they just showed her going, her hand is doing this, but her voice is going, bop, 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 bop. It's like none of it makes sense. You can't even stay in rhythm on your theoretical rehearsal. <laughs> bop, 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 Rap, that's it. Done. I'm the David Foster of Cabaret. <laughs> well, I can't think of anything more fun and creative to do while I'm here. So let's put on a show. And so they walk up to the stage, and Sonia's like, Oh, look, Lou, it's a pit. It's an orchestra pit, like your show. <laughs> As in your show is the pits. Mm. So Luann goes, so, Bill, the mayor said you might need some help with an end-of-year performance. Are you interested in turning gay? I think that will help at about 75%. <laughs> Would you like to have sex with a man right now? And uh, Sony's like, what? This is Bill King? I thought he was going to be like, darling. But instead he's like, oh, Sonny and Luann, you know. Oh, hi. I thought he was going to be like, Sonia and Luann, I love you. I came to your Christmas show in L.A. But instead, no, it's just Bill. I'm married. I've been doing this forever. <laughs> my priest on my shirt. Well, Bill, you know, you're in luck because we're here to save you, you know. I do cabaret. Sonia Rita does stand up to much smaller audiences, doesn't really have the same tour prestige that I do. She's basically <laughs> selling popcorn at the side of the stage there, but I have guests and friends and songs. So anyway, we're here to help you. Well, really, it's your vision. We're just a facility. However, I would say something that attracts people, Benton people. So hot dogs? I've seen a lot of people who seem to like hot dogs here. Should we? Should we just throw some catfish on the stage and see who comes through the doors? Do you know any singing hot dogs or <laughs> cartons of popcorn that could come in? Should we put some coupons for the local supermarket here? What's it called? The Piggly Wiggly? Bull balls. I met a celebrity with huge bull balls here. We could, he could do something. <laughs> well... Listen, I think for this kind of town, I think we need a variety show that includes everyone, all inclusive. We can include kids and children. Uh, children. Are, are there any other groups we have to include? I don't know. We can do skits. We can do ourselves. It could be basically us on stage and children in the orchestra pit, and we can throw popcorn down on their heads. Children, parents, cousins, brothers, sisters, animals, pets, donkeys. You're not doing a donkey show, Sonia. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, you want me to put the word out? I can put it on Facebook. All right, well, what are you thinking for a name? We need a name. Well, I'll tell you this. What doesn't work? Variety show. All right, well, how about... Oh, that's my favorite magazine. How about Cabaret? Cabaret works. I like Follies. Something young oh, follies. and fresh. <laughs> young and fresh, like Follies. Mm. And then benton follies oh yes folly sounds great all right it is the benton follies featuring the countess luann experience yeah don't run away from the title benton because you know don't run from benton this is benton benton's great <laughs> thanks for selling yeah, you know, thanks for selling ben on putting ben or thanks for selling bill on putting benton in the title <laughs> 
You know, the Benton Follies are a way that Luann and I can share light on the wonderful people of Benton and the strange fish they like to capture with their hands. You know, it's great. It's a great place to go, even though there's no bars and no attractive men here, and we know people will come. <laughs> Bill's like, well, I'm more of a behind-the-scenes kind of guy. In all honesty, I don't watch her show, but we'll see what they do to me. I could have sworn I had my wallet in my pocket. <laughs> I'm not accusing anyone of anything. Well, let's go shopping. So they, Luann and Sonia are driving back home. And they see like an antique small. So like, ooh, makes me want to go shopping. Shopping or maybe fuck someone. Let's fuck someone. Let's go to the fire department. <laughs> so they, <laughs> they pass by the fire department and pull over. And Luann's like, I have to tell you something, Sonia Rita. I'm getting hangry. I mean, for me, the heat just makes me agitated already. And I'm already agitated on top of that. So that's my problem. I'm not having any sex. And it's hot. And I'm not having sex. Did I say the sex part already? I'm angry. And Sonia's like, well, we've got live victims right here. She's trying to get her <laughs> eyelash glued on <laughs> under her big glasses. She's like, ugh. I need boys right now. I'm so boy crazy. I can't even take it. Fuck the pirate. I want a fireman now. It's time for a commercial. It's time for a crappin's come. If you're hiring, you know what it's like to deal with economic uncertainty. And now more than ever, it's really important to hire the right people faster and more efficiently because you got to keep the overall cost down. And thankfully, there's a hiring partner who's focused on you and your needs. And that is ZipRecruiter. From pricing to technology, everything that ZipRecruiter does is for you and what works best for you. And right now, you can try them free at ZipRecruiter.com slash crappins. Now, here's how ZipRecruiter prioritizes your needs. They've got very straightforward pricing, like no surprises, no twists and turns. ZipRecruiter's smart technology identifies the best matches for your job. Hire the best with the help of a partner who's all about you, ZipRecruiter. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. Just go to this exclusive web address to try ZipRecruiter for free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash crappins. Again, that's ZipRecruiter.com slash C-R-A-P-P-E-N-S. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. What do millions of Americans and four U.S. presidents have in common? They all get a better night's sleep in Bull and Branch sheets. They feel incredible because they don't cut any corners and believe that quality takes time. Bull and Branch sheets are made free from toxins with the finest 100% traceable organic cotton. They only use long staple threads, slow spun for an unmatched softness, and they'll feel unbelievably soft for years to come. Once you experience the quality of Bull and Branch, you'll never sleep in anything else. Shop their annual summer event now to get 20% off your order for a limited time only. Use promo code code WONDERY20 at BowlandBranch.com. That's 20% off with free shipping, free returns, and our 30-night worry-free guarantee. Shop now at BowlandBranch.com to start getting the best sleep of your life. That's B-O-L-L and Branch.com. Promo code WONDERY20. Looking for love? I'm Jujubee, and on this season of Queen of Hearts, we're going all the way down to sunny, sexy Miami. I'm setting up the hottest singles in South Florida. Maybe I can find them their perfect partner or someone to fulfill their sexiest fantasies. A man who unconditionally loves me and is a raging <laughs> feminist and then ties me up rubbing oils on me, then surprise gets a girl to lick my <laughs> and another guy to put it in my <laughs> and has a huge. But remember, there's a twist. No one can see each other until the very end. Camera's on. Oh, hi. Hi. Mm. Woo. <laughs> got me blessed follow queen of hearts on amazon music or wherever you get your podcasts you can listen ad free on amazon music included with prime download the amazon music app now or you can listen ad free by subscribing to wondery plus in apple podcasts or the wondery app so they see the fireplace and they they decide that they're gonna pull over to meet some firemen and sony won't get out of the car because she's doing like she's still trying to keep her eyelash on but she's like <laughs> pursing her lips and like posing and making her hair crazy to look crazy for them i'm like you two look so bizarre <laughs> <laughs> it's too crazy i personally am He's crawling out of this car and I'm personally a little surprised that Sonia didn't put the little the rascal scooter in their backseat. Like, I'm just going to take this for later. I don't know. I thought I might need it. Not to so, tell you, I um, think it's those big trucks that just make people horny. I yeah. think you get one of those trucks and you're like, yes, I'm fucking everybody. But they're not in the big truck yet. They're just still in their um, Oh, they're still in the little car. One? 
Oh, yeah. darn it. Spoiler maybe alert. The truck potential. Maybe that maybe being oh. around a lot of trucks is getting them going, you know? Yeah. So they get they get out and Luann's like, Oh hello, I'm Luann. And what's your name? Hopefully it has no word in your last name that might make me hornier. He's like, Well, my name is Shane Cockrum. Oh yeah. Cock, Rob, I'm sorry. All I heard was cock. And he's like, yeah, Shane Cockrum, also known as Chief Cockrum. And Sonia's like, uh, Luann's like, Sonia, get off your phone. He's like, well, you ladies are dressed for success today. I was like, that is the nicest way to put it. I mean, <laughs> I know, dressed for success. We have a vibrant streetwalker community here in Benton, <laughs> and we give our ladies of the night nothing but respect. You'll fit in great. <laughs> we like to protect them. <laughs> and goes, well, thank you. I am dressed for cabaret. You said cabaret, yes, mm-hmm. or success. Same word for me. Well, anyway, we just stopped in and thought we'd say hello, see if anyone wanted to, I don't know, go down on me while I'm here. I don't know. There's a fire that needs to be put out between my legs, if you know what I'm saying. Ha! Ah! And Sonny goes, we want to see your pull. I know. Oh, you do. Called this one, didn't I? <laughs> well, uh, as part of the fire department, it's it's one of our jobs to put things out. So if you have a libido, let me tell you, there is no poll because we're a first floor firehouse. So I will not be yes and in your poll situation there. <laughs> yeah. So what was this? He goes, first floors don't get polls. And Sonny goes, like our motel room. <laughs> I think she meant like our, their motel is all one floor. No. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. <laughs> but, so well, um, how long have you been at the fire department? Oh God, we have young to say person. she finds the youngest guy there. She goes right up to the youngest guy, Chin. What's his name? He's got yes. a big chin. Alex like, Melvin. Movie star Chin. His name is Alex Melvin. Oh, Alex Melvin. So is Alex your first name or is Melvin your first name? Are you just telling me your name in roll call order? I want to know everything about you, Ryan Reynolds type. How long have you been here? Uh, at this fire station and he's like uh uh he keeps looking to the side he's so uncomfortable he's like uh well next month i reach my 11 years oh you don't look old enough to be here 11 years (laughs) (laughs) yeah flicking the hair i was like well i try to stay longer oh well you're doing a good job how do you stay in shape i want to show me some tips he's like well there's a uh a workout room out back. Okay, well, I was asking you to fuck me, but we could do the workout room first. Okay. She's trying I to do it. this flirty face, but she looks like, oh, hello. <laughs> like, she looks, it's <laughs> the most horrifying flirty face I've ever seen. And she's wearing these gigantic earrings that look like the gongs that should have played her off years ago. <laughs> I mean, she's a disaster. They're sweating. She's in sequence. This guy is looking like he's in a hostage video. He's like, are you trying to seduce me, Miss Della Saps? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I love it. Show me the work. You want to show me the workout room? I want to see what's going on back there. So she tells us, flirting is all about eye contact and conversation and letting a man know you're available. And there's a way to do that with just enough body language and just a few little hints like, fuck me right now. Just some subtle hints. Subtle hints to let him know you're available. You crawled out of a free, unconditioned car in sequins, sweating. One of you had your (laughs) eyelash hanging off. He knows. He knows you're available. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> he figured it out okay <laughs> so she goes in and she picks up weights and she's got massive muscles she's like oh i like to do these ones right am i right and he's like uh yeah uh keeps you strong do you like to party <laughs> <laughs> what she's just- she has- <laughs> <laughs> did she just ask him to do drugs yes and she's <laughs> right after she's saying all oh, you need is a little eye contact this guy will not look her in the eyes like looking away <laughs> and then she asks well, him do some meth. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh my god she is so shameless <laughs> so um yeah and she's like lifting these weights like yeah this is how i like to lift my weights now imagine if instead of weights my hands were wrapped around your penis. So I'm saying, let's do it. Let's do it hard right now. I'm horny. Mama's horny. Subtlety. It's all about subtlety. So are you on 24-hour call, Chin? And he's like, uh, well, yeah, we're on 24-hour. And then 48 off. I know the drill. You can get a lot done in 48 hours, Alex. And he's like, uh, oh, we do, ma'am. Lots of kittens <laughs> up trees. Uh, I'm not sure I know what you're talking about, man. A lot of pussies that need your help there. Come on, Chin. Help me out here. I can't walk this whole mile alone. 
I'm trying to be subtle as best I can, but mama's horny. Come on now. So uh, he, Ryan like gives like a signal to like his friend. He's like, can you please just like pull a fire alarm somewhere? <laughs> Someone save me. So meanwhile, Sonia's talking to the fire chief. And so he's like, well, she goes, well, she, Luann's just so horny. Sorry. She really needs some dick. You know, look at her. She's just hot. She's horny. And he goes, well, Alex is definitely the most GQ fireman we've got. But I suppose it's what we do that makes us hot, right? She goes, <laughs> Have a lot of you been burned? He's like, ah, that wasn't actually, I wasn't intending a pun with that one. Oh. No, not really. None of you were hot, actually. If any of you had, like, misspelled tattoos on your back, maybe. Possibly. Yeah. So um, so now they're putting a, a hat onto Sonia's head. And she's like, Lou. Not a hat, but a, a fireman's helmet. And Lou, she's like, Lou, come on, get a helmet. You won't believe how heavy these things are. Oh, as heavy as... This one's cock, I'm hoping. I'm sure they don't call you cock room for nothing. All right, we're just trying to show off the helmet here, ma'am. All right, well, boys, we're doing a variety show, and you guys have talents, don't you, boys? So, well, one of our talents comes out when the bell rings. Just, oh, okay. You don't have any <laughs> hidden talents? Oh, I think. Maybe in the bedroom? Oh, well, uh, my wife says that I organize my toiletries very well. All right, I'm not really getting through these You're guys. You're killing me here, buddy. <laughs> no hidden talents at all? Because, wow, well, I think firemen have lots of hidden talents. She goes, oh, really? Why don't you show me one? It's like, jeez. <laughs> so um, then uh, Shane tells us, you know, Sonia, Sonia and I believe Leanne, is it? Leanne? Yes. They, you know, they really come in like a whirlwind. Like, you know, like, dress for success, as they say. And these ladies are full of spice and life. And you can tell, you can tell anywhere they go, it's going to be exciting. And a little desperate. I have to say, a little, it reeks of desperation. It's going to be a whirlwind, a twister of dollar bills just in a, in a funnel <laughs> around wherever those two are. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, the fire alarms will be going off because it's a, it's a dumpster fire in sequins that just arrived here. Anyway. <laughs> So they're like, uh-oh, gotta, we gotta go, gotta get in the fire trucks. We've got an emergency, boys. So Luann's like, wow, how hot was that? You just see them stop down the block, and the fire chief whips out the hose and starts giving everybody a silkworm shower. Silkwood shower. <laughs> silkwood shower. <laughs> oh, my God. They're like, thank thank you for pulling that emergency, <laughs> that emergency fire alarm at the Benton Civic He's Center. He's like, Dwight! Doip, doip. We've got an emergency. That was coming from your mouth. <laughs> Luanna's like, oh wow, that was hot. How hot was that? Oh my god. Uh, they got into a truck, they put on their jackets. I never thought robic would be more exciting than dysrobic. Oh, Sony Rita. So it's now night three, and they already look wasted, right? Sonia, especially Sonia, uh, Sonia looks ex like coked out of her mind, right? So Luann comes over to her room. Luann is dressed like what people think gay men dress like in 1972. <laughs> which they, it's I a little they Heather Dubrow in Montana, you know. A little well, she's wearing like the Montana train conductor Debrow. hat, but it instead of leather, <laughs> yes. it's like sequined, and then she's wearing a skin tight, skin tight black sequined outfit. I uh, I think that was her Viva La Diva hat. I think she wears that in the music video. She likes that kind of, yeah. It's like not quite a conductor's cap. It's not quite a police cap. It's just sort of like a goofy not hat, quite a that, newsies oh, hat, but it's there. It's not quite that. a not not quite a four non blondes hat from the nineties, but sort of, you know. So, um, Sonia's wasted. So Sonia's like, oh my God, the mayor, Mayor Fred, got us a truck. <laughs> she keeps saying, the mayor. That's the right. Mayor. We have clout in this town. Mayor Fred, got us a truck. And uh, she's like, yeah, we went from the Fred Flintstone vehicle that we had to operate with our own legs to this. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. So he got, they have like now a pickup truck. Someone had to donate a pickup truck to the show, clearly. <laughs> yeah. It's a huge, nice, big dick pickup truck. Or a little dick pickup yeah. truck, I guess. You see those, and you're like, sorry about your tiny penis, sir. So they're driving, and Luann's like, wow, well, I hope we get some talent for this show. Whoever will we cast? She's like, well, we, we can find a way to use everyone. Everyone has some kind of talent, don't they? 
<laughs> yeah, she was well, well, I mean, we can't, we can't include everyone, Sonia, otherwise her play will be nine hours long. I mean, part of being a celebrity is having a velvet rope, you know what I'm saying? Only a few acts in, and then the rest will just be me singing. <laughs> and Sonia's like, well, I think we, we're going to get a lot, I think we're going to get a lot of people to audition, because they want to meet us, frankly. <laughs> and I know that to be true wherever I go, whether it's Korea, France, New York, <laughs> <laughs> How did Korea I, get to the beginning of this example list? I don't know, but I swear to God, I thought she said Crimea at first. I was like, of course, Sonia would be like, let me go to war torn Crimea Peninsula. But Korea? And just Sonia? sign some autographs. How did Korea? Korea? I don't know. Has she been to Korea? <laughs> She's like, I went to you know, restaurant. whenever I go to Korea, they just chase me down the street. It's crazy. <laughs> You know, the S in BTS stands for Sonia. I don't know if you realize that. <laughs> ay, ay. So Luann's, they pull up to the auditions, and Luann's like, uh, I don't see a lot of cars, but it's possible I may have driven over them. I'm in such a big truck right now. Mm. Sonia's like, well, you know, don't forget that like one family is three people, so it could really be a lot of people that are there. But um, <laughs> no, it's... So we're at Benton no Follies Auditions Round 1. Well, don't you look spiffy. This is just audition. Yeah, you can make an effort, Bill. All right. Jesus Christ, non-gay Bill. You don't have to suck a dick, but at least dress like you do. Is that too dress much? for success is what I heard they say. Oh, yeah. That's what we tell our hookers. You know, they get tax breaks <laughs> in this town. <laughs> we say dress for success for the hookers, and we say, ah, just look like a piece of shit for the guys in the bar. Yeah. Don't, don't you worry. <laughs> So and she's like, well, how many people are here, Bill? He's like, ah, four or five. That's it. <laughs> Do they know that this is the auditions for the Benton Follies? Didn't you say Benton Follies and all the youth of Benton come running forward? Everyone hears the word Follies and knows this is something hip and cool and young. So then we see these auditions. Oh, my God. So Carly Atchison, she's got music on her phone. It's like... <laughs> It doesn't go stated, but she's basically doing um, interpretive dance for Saw. She's doing like it's a Saw. She's dressed like Jigsaw. Yeah, it's super <laughs> weird. So she's dressed <laughs> like Jigsaw, and then she does backbend, like that creepy, like insidious backbend, like the arch, like the, the wheel. Right? Yes, that yoga, that what, wheel. Ugh, it's so creepy and weird. And she's like giving satanic looks. She's looking at them like, I'm gonna fuck you, and then I'm gonna eat you. Ugh. And Bill goes, oh, you know, around here, they're all into this, you know, the dark side or whatever. <laughs> <You know? laughs> the fuck is this town? What's going on in this town? I've never seen an interpretive dance of a horror film. I mean, I'm into violence. I'm into sex. But not at the Follies. Follies means fun and light and singing and rejoicing. But it does remind me. I, did, I do remember fucking Jigsaw in the 90s. It was when Limelight was still big in New York City. I had a great time. He booby trapped me. I loved it. I thought when he said, I'm going to booby trap you, he meant he's going to motorboat my boobs. He actually booby trapped me, but I got out of it. I fuck Jigsaw in Japan, too. There they call him Sudoku. It was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't even want to know what they call him in Korea. <laughs> So this girl who does this crazy dance finishes and then she gives like a dirty look like that kill you fuck you look to the audience. And then she goes, ah, thank you. And start smiling. Like, oh. Great job, Carly. Great job. You're almost as talented as my own daughter, Victoria. I'm sorry, Carly. You can't be a serial killer. You have not been picked up for a season two. That was just a solo killing that you're getting away with. Please clear the stage. Gross. <laughs> Being stage gross. <laughs> so then there's like a a girl on violin who's like she's like doing a whole thing, and so I was like, "Wow, that was great! How long have you been studying? Because my daughter studied for seven years and she still can't pay, play. Wow, talk about money down the drain! But it's Morgan money, so who really cares? Anyway, what's your name again? Mm -hmm. She's like, "Well, I've been doing it for eleven years." And Bill's like, "And tell them with who you've been studying, you talk Perlman, right?" <laughs> no, my wife. Oh, that's my wife. She does. You have a wife? <laughs> wow. It was really a town for single people to move to, eh? Good for you, Bill. <laughs> Didn't see that one coming. So, um, so then we get a harp player, which you gotta love. You gotta love this town. <laughs> Where'd that come They've from? They've got a lot in this town. Their dance classes are bomb. I mean, that girl can seriously that girl was, backbend. She was moving. Yeah. And they have harp lessons? I mean, what the fuck? 
I don't have harp lessons harp. where I live. I'd have to drive three hours to get a harp lesson where I live. <laughs> the person, someone's harp, playing the harp and the man goes, hmm, it makes me want to get into a Roman bath and eat grapes. And they get railed by a fireman. Where's, where's, where's Melvin Alex or Alex Melvin? Get over here. I guess they didn't have many firemen in Rome. Come to think of it, seeing as how it burnt to the ground. Oh, well, that was a bad example. Bill, get someone to fuck me. <laughs> All right, someone put that harp down on the ground. I'm going to line it, and then someone can fuck me, okay? I'm fuck me on the harp and see what music happens. I'm fucking the harp. <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. I'm doing the harp instead. Give me that harp. <laughs> so then a guy on the guitar who I think does meth comes out and um, they're like putting their hands on the air to his song and his song is like, it's never too late to change the world. And you're thinking, okay, I mean, that's positive. That's sweet. And he goes, watch them bury you. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Well, there is a Whoa. darkness in this town. What the hell? There's a little bit of a darkness. And then we see this little boy on a unicycle playing a keyboard that he is controlling with his mouth. It's like, <laughs> and so he goes, oh, well, this has to be in. <laughs> I mean, this is talent right here. Oh, so Luann's like, well, we need more people. I mean, I appreciate everyone's talent, but there's just so few people. We need, we need more casting, Bill, before we can figure out the shape of this show. Okay, well, let's just do a video. We can promote it. Good, because what's the point of casting something if you can't cut people? It's just not fair. You need to have both sides of the equation. Mm -hmm. It's like, okay, all right, all right, everyone come on stage. All right, gather around the star, which is me, and my sidekick, which is Sonia. All right, okay, I'm going to do all of this, and Sonia will say a date, and then Bill will just say something straight and disgusting, and then we'll all cheer at the end. Okay, is everyone ready? <laughs> so they try doing this. So Sonia's like, you say the things, and then I'll say the date. So they try doing it, and God bless them. You know, they've got like a whole line of people, pale people standing up there, like, Hah. and then you've just got Luann, like, hello, welcome to the gay train of Benton. <laughs> welcome to the Benton Follies held at the Elizabeth Berkeley Center of the Fine Arts. Please come to our show. <laughs> welcome to the Natalie Portman of. <laughs> Natalie Portman Center of Fine Arts, the only theater helmed by a straight person. Doesn't that sound fun? Here at the Rafe Fines Theater of Large Theaters, <laughs> we'll be having a folly as for Benton. At the Meredith Baxter Burney Center of Ballet. <laughs> the Mayor Winningham, performing our center of Benton, Illinois, welcomes you to the Benton Follies. <laughs> So then um, they get their video done. So next, they're all dressed up to go out, right? So now Lou's in like some pink hat. They're all now. Now's where we see Sony, who looks all coked out. I said that before because I thought it was the going out scene. We really have turned this into a five-hour show for no reason. But now is the time where they're going out. So now Sony is like, yeah. Oh, Sonia Rita, before we go out, do you want to have a glass of Fosé by Luan de Lesseps? Come on, wow. Wow, Son Sonia, your room is just getting worse every time I step into it. It's terrible. And she goes, oh, but look at these baskets he gave me. They're so amazing. And she's got a basket with so much fruit in it. <laughs> and know. the ba bananas are already brown and like have flies. You know there's already flies all over <laughs> that room. Um, watch the dildo, all right? C keep the dildo safe. <laughs> Get some baggies. Seriously. Well, let's go check out downtown Benton. Is there even such a down? Isn't is there really even a downtown in this place? Well, let's go see if it exists. Is there is an uptown? I mean, it's kind of an oxymoron. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> so they pile into this the, the truck. She's like, "Oh, I love this thing." Now, as the as my fellow contemporary singer Pink says, "Let's get this party started." <laughs> Uh, all right, let's go to the barn bar. It's six minutes away. I'm freezing, Sonia Rita. So Sonia's not paying attention. She's just like, okay, there's a street called Oak Street. <laughs> it's like up to her face. Her phone's like and you up hear, to her eye. And, and the navigation goes, turn left on Main Street. Okay, you're going to go up to Oak Street, Lou. Go up to Oak Street. She's like, what? Oak what? <laughs> Oak Street. You want to make that? Try that. What does that say? What does that sign say? Well, I... Well, I didn't look at it. You didn't tell me to, to look at it in time. Why did you go so fast? 
So they get there, and um, Luann's like, where are the keys? And Sony goes, where do we pay for valet? Suck it in. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure they don't have valet here, Sonia. So they walk in, like, hello, small people of this town. We're here. We've arrived. Hello, boys. <laughs> Sonia actually spins into the bar. She walks in, she goes, whoa. She does like a twirl. <laughs> We're here, celebrities. Yeah, she just throws open the door and spins in and like stumbling already into the door. And so she's like, so, boys, is this the local watering hole or a watering hole? Or how many watering holes are there? How many holes need watering besides mine? Am I right, boys? <laughs> Put something in me. So Luann's like, wow, look at the ceilings. A lot of, a lot of underwear up there. It's like it's just staring at Sonia's floor, but it's a ceiling instead. Yeah, there's just boxers staple gun to the ceiling. And then this weird old dude with a hair, really hairy chest and a really long braided beard comes out. And he's like, hey, TV ladies. His shirt is fully open, by the way. He's like, he's just bare chested with like a shirt, like open. And Sonny goes, ah, coming in hot, coming in hot. Watch out, coming in hot. <laughs> I'm Kevin. She goes, wow, you have a very firm handshake, Kevin. And he goes, yeah, well, I'm a farm boy. And he, like, pats Luann on the, on the shoulder like this. And Luann goes, oh! She's horrified. And she, like, grabs her shoulder. And then she, like, wipes it. Like, oh, my God. Farmer touched shoulder. Farmer touched shoulder. Pull the alarm. So she the grabs his um, goatee braid and starts leading him around by the beard. And Sonia's like, wow. I guess I can just go longer without sex than Luann. I mean, now having said that... It has been a long time already, so we'll see. When Luann grabs the guy's goatee, she goes, wow, this is like a real goat tea. I'm putting that in the show, putting that in the next cabaret show. Not in the Follies. We're not burning this on no motherfucking Follies. This is going in cabaret and friends. And so he goes, bah. Oh, that was a beautiful note that you just hit there. Let me do it too. Bah. It was a B, am I right? <laughs> So a lady comes up and she's like, oh, the underwear on the ceiling are bartender souvenirs. Um, and she's holding a black baby doll that's in a baby Bjorn. What the hell was that about? I did not notice that. You didn't? <laughs> so that what she... is this? What is this show? <laughs> that's a lot of souvenirs. So Kevin goes, well, guess what? They'll never get mine because I don't wear any and I never will. And I was like, oh, so you don't wear underwear? Is that what you're saying? He goes, who would? He goes, I'm with you on that one, goat man. So they're hugging fans and stuff. And then they sit with a couple of people. like a, it's, it's like a lady and a guy, right? And there's this guy named Billy. He's like, hello, ladies. I'm Bella. And she's like, oh, Billy. <laughs> Where are you from, Billy? And he's like, Napoleonville, Louisiana, from the swamp people. <laughs> yeah. And she's like, oh, wow. What's your last name? He goes, Richard? He goes, oh, that's French. Luann, Luann, this poor person here, he's from New Orleans. And so she goes, oh, I, I love that area of the world, I guess. I don't know. Why are you dragging me into this? Because <laughs> I guess. He's like, I'm in from the town with a weekend house, and we go do some mutton tomorrow, tear up some field signs, see if we can do some mutton. He's, he's got that really, really thick um, thick accent Creole. obviously i can't do <laughs> i know i wasn't gonna say anything oh it's really terrible enjoying. yeah no i'm not even trying i just wanted to do something because billy wow what a character his yeah like louisiana accent is really it's hard so hard it's, like, it's sort of like south but sort of like yeah wah, wah. it's like a lot of wah, wah yeah, sound. <laughs> um, we used to have a family friend that talked like she moved talk. here after katrina and she would talk to like yeah. i just She's think of Renny from big lady. brother yeah. Yeah. And I've, I never could do Rennie either back in the day. Yeah. That Louisiana, because it's what you sort of want to go like that, but it's not. It's like Louisiana. It's, well, I don't know. Yeah, so he's like, he's like, yeah, we're going to go mudding tomorrow. And Louisiana's like, what is mudding? Can that be put in the follies? <laughs> can you fuck it? <laughs> is there something in the bud that you can fuck? <laughs> Potentially a harp or a fireman? <laughs> Sonia Rita, what about mudding? Oh, sorry, Sonia's too busy adjusting her dress because Sonia is. She's like pushing <laughs> up her boobs and she goes, Oh, actually, I was just adjusting his view. Here's my boobs, Billy. 
<laughs> she goes, this guy Billy seems pretty solid. I mean, he seems confident. He's not getting in my space. He's acting kind of standoffish. He actually seems semi repulsed to see us. But, uh, you know, he's sort of, he's like, hey, you see me? Because I'm trying to hide from you. And I'm like, I see you. I love it. He's silent but deadly. Sure sounds like a fart. Mm. And Billy's like, well, uh, oh, maybe I'll leave something here then for the, for the bar. And Sonia's like, oh, if you take that shirt off, I'm going to lose it. And the man's like, yeah, I'll mud you right here. So he takes <laughs> off his shirt and Sonia's like, oh my God. And then the thing is, so Luann had missed the part where he told, Billy told um, Sonia that his last name was Richard. So when he takes off his shirt, he has a big tattoo on his back that says Richard. But Luann sees it and goes, Richard, really? <laughs> She's like, is this a gay? We're fighting gay people. Gay people were the straights supposed to be, and straight people were the gays supposed to be. I'm out of this town. Thank God Dorinda's not here, am I right? <laughs> Who's Richard? He goes, Oh, it's Richard. He goes, Oh, ha 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 ha. French. I know French. Hmm. I'm like, Dude, why is that your name? You've got someone named Richard tattooed on your back. <laughs> she was so disgusted. Richard. <laughs> well, if this is what Benton life is like, and this is where we're going to meet the boys, then. Oh, my God, what have I gotten myself into? This is not happening in New York, that's for sure. Oh, please, like, Boutique was any better than this with Harry Dubin rolling around in his... You filth. married Tom. Like, seriously. <laughs> that's, this place looked great. I want to go to this bar. That's like making out with a urinal, Tom. It's like making out with a Petri <laughs> dish. Give me a fucking break. You, Your standards are already rock bottom, okay? And so, like, if that guy, if this goatee guy had money, you'd be all over that in two seconds. And he's, like, pulling down his shorts, showing off his butt tattoos, because he's a camera whore. No matter where you are, there will be camera whores. And that's this guy, the goatee guy. So then um, Luann's like, well, Ben's charming. The people are cool and authentic and different than what I'm used to. I'm going to get lucky here, but I've got to be more selective. Wow. <laughs> Wait, more selective than the guy who doesn't wear underwear and is bare chested and has like a long, crazy goatee. More selective than that. More selective than Sonia, because Sonia leaves with Richard, right? And she's like, Billy, let's go. I'm riding back with you. Ooh, I love your truck. That's bigger than Lou's. Hmm, don't tell her that. So she likes to swing the biggest dick in town. What about you, Billy? And he's like, Oh, yeah. <laughs> and she runs off to bone Billy at the end of the show. She goes, all I want to say is, the horse is out of the barn. It's like, I don't know what that is, but I know I'm going to get some pussy tonight, so let's go. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. I was cracking up. I was like, okay, I get it. I'm so glad. I, well, obviously, I was going to stick around for the second episode, but I'm so glad I didn't just judge it by the first episode, which, again, was fine. But the second episode, I was like, just oh, crazy. this is a funny-ass show. Yeah, that's a good one. All right, everybody. Well, thank you so much for being with us. Um, we will be back, I don't know, whenever. We're here all the time. Like, literally, come all back the time. in five minutes. We'll be back with some yeah. more. We're going to have a recap of the third episode of this show coming up. Yeah. If you want um, videos, crap and on demand on Patreon. Also, our bonus episodes. Go check out our Amazon Prime bonus. That was so much fun. Thank you for being here. We will talk to you. Guess what? My hand's not even on the button to end this shit. So here I go. We're going to talk to you next time. Do it. Bye. Bye. Watch What Crappens would like to thank its premium sponsors. Ain't no thing like Allison King. Ashley Saboni, she don't take no baloney. She's not just a Sheila, she's a Daniela. Itchels. Aaron McNicholas, she don't miss no Trickleus. She's never scary, it's the Green Fairy. Jamie, she has no less namey. Hava Nagila Weber. Sip some scotch with Jessica Trotch. She's a little bit loony. Junie. She's always supplying. It's Kelly Ryan. Kristen the Piston Anderson. You're never alone with Lacey Monteleone. Let's give a kisserino to Lisa Lino. Megan Berg. You can't have a burger without the Berg. Roo Roo La Roo. The Bay Area Betches. Betches. And our super premium sponsors. Somebody get us 10 cc's of Betsy MD. We're taking the gold with Brenda Silva. Let's get real with Caitlin O'Neill. Don't get salty with Christine Pepper. Can't have a meal without the Emily Sides. Nobody holds a candle to Jamie Kendall. She's not harsh. She's Jill Hirsch. My favorite Murdo, Karen McMurdo. We love him madly. It's Kyle Pod Shadley. Let's go on a bender with Lauren Fender. We want to hang with Liz Lang. The incredible edible Matthew sisters. Nancy Cease and DeSisto. 
Give him hell, Miss Noel. She's the queen bee, it's Sarah Lemke. Shannon, out of a cannon, Anthony. Let's take off with Tamla Plain. She ain't no shrinking Violet Kutar. We love you guys. Hey, Prime members, you can listen to Watch Your Crappens ad-free on Amazon Music. Download the Amazon Music app today. Or you can listen ad-free with Wondery Plus in Apple Podcasts. Before you go, tell us about yourself by completing a short survey at Wondery.com.